To sum up what we've learned about demand, we're going to take a brief look at how expected prices might influence the market demand for fried chicken pieces. Let's assume that we expect the price of fried chicken pieces to decrease in three days' time. How will that affect your current demand for fried chicken pieces? You'll probably tell yourself to hold off buying today because in three days' time you can spoil yourself. In other words, your current demand will decrease. Now, is this a shift or a movement along the curve? Well, the prices haven't changed yet, but at each price less is now demanded. So we have a leftward shift of the curve. Let's assume it's announced that the price of petrol is to rise by 10% next week. How will this news affect the behaviour of consumers? You'll find that generally people will rush out to fill up before the increase comes into effect. Yes, their current demand for petrol will increase and at the same price a higher quantity of petrol is demanded. So petrol stations will be really busy for the next week before the petrol price rise takes effect. Today, more petrol is demanded at the same price, so the current demand for petrol shifts to the right. And what about demand after the petrol price goes up? Well, the same rules apply. The higher price leads to a lower quantity demanded, and a movement back up along the curve takes place. The lower quantity demanded is caused by an increase in the price of petrol, and not by any of the other factors. Remember, all we're doing is using economic terms to understand economic events that happen all around us. Don't be afraid of using these tools. Practice them in your everyday experiences, whether it's the next time you're at the supermarket, evaluating which airtime package to take, or whether to purchase a video contract. You'll soon be on the road to understanding how the market economy works and how best to take decisions in this environment. Also, you'll develop some of that fundamental knowledge that will help you maximise and maintain your own wealth. The next part of this journey takes us to the supply curve and then onto how demand and supply curves interact to establish prices in the market.